the day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Sunday, March 26, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money, and if you are interested in props and parlay picks, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link to our Patreon and to our new channel in the description and comments section below. Colorado Avalanche vs Arizona Coyotes. The Avalanche are the far better team in this matchup, and I expect them to easily get a win and cover the puck line on the road today, just as they did when these teams met in Colorado on Friday night. They're superior to the Coyotes on both ends of the ice. Colorado has scored the 14th most goals in the NHL. They should be able to score easily on the Coyotes' defense, who have allowed the 10th most goals in the NHL, having given up the 3rd most expected goals and the 5th most high danger shots. The Avs' defense has been fantastic, allowing just the 7th fewest goals in the NHL. They'll be able to shut down the Yotes' offense, who have only scored the 5th fewest goals in the NHL, and have generated the 3rd fewest expected goals, and the 8th fewest high danger shots in the league. Take the Avs to cover the puck line on the road. Our team pick is Avalanche minus 1.5 goals. I like the under to hit in this matchup, just as it hit in the last two games between these teams. In Friday's game, the total was set at 6 and still hit with only 4 total goals, and today's game is even more favorable to the under, with it set at 6.5. The Coyotes have a terrible offense. They're scoring the 5th fewest goals in the league, generating the 3rd fewest expected goals and the 8th fewest high danger shots in the NHL. I expect Colorado's defense to shut them down, as they've allowed only the 7th fewest goals in the NHL. The Avalanche, despite scoring the 14th most goals in the NHL, have struggled to generate scoring chances, generating the 13th fewest expected goals and the 11th fewest high danger shots in the league. Take the under 6.5 goals here. Boston Bruins vs Carolina Hurricanes. Given how elite both of these teams have been in 2022-23, this should be one of the best games of the season, and with a 1-1 record between them this season, this one is a very tough game to call. However, the Hurricanes have an impressive 6-0 record in the past six head-to-head -head meetings that have taken place in Carolina, as well as the home team being a perfect 9-0 in their past nine matchups, but in this one, Carolina is the best bet. Our team pick is Carolina. While both of these teams rely critically on their defense and goaltending, the second night of a back T0 back for both teams often led to offensive displays, and this coupled with the over being 7-3-1 in the past 11 meetings, it's easy to see it happening again. For the Bruins, the over is 5-1 in their past six games played on the road, and for Carolina, the over is 5-2 in their past seven games played against teams with a winning percentage over .600, so expect this one to be full of scoring opportunities for these elite offensive units. Keep it simple, take the over. Toronto Maple Leafs vs Nashville Predators The Toronto Maple Leafs have won three of their last four games entering Saturday night and have been reliable when playing on the road, winning three of their last four road bouts. The Predators are inconsistent and have only won two of their last six games after an ugly 7-2 home loss to the Kraken on Saturday. Furthermore, the Maple Leafs are clicking offensively led by Matthews and Marner, collecting 18 goals in their last four games, including five against a usually strong defensive Hurricanes team and six goals against the Panthers on Thursday. The Predators have only netted 13 goals in their last five games. Our team pick is Toronto Maple Leafs. The Toronto Maple Leafs conclude a road trip on Sunday. Toronto is looking to sweep the season series after posting a 2-1 home win against the Predators in the first meeting. The Maple Leafs are having another outstanding regular season. They are going to finish second in the Atlantic behind only the Bruins. The Maple Leafs earned a convincing 6-2 road win against the Panthers on Thursday and are sporting a 6-3-1 record in their last 10 games entering Saturday's action. Mitch Marner continues to dazzle. The 25-year-old winger has recorded at least one point in eight consecutive games, including six goals in that span, and now has 92 points on the season. Marner scored in the win against the Predators in January. Austin Matthews is heating up, registering nine points in his last six games, including two goals on Thursday. The 25-year-old star has netted 34 goals, along with 39 assists. William Nylander rebounded from a four-game pointless drought in Thursday's win. The 26-year-old winger is having a marvelous season, collecting 81 points. The Nashville Predators are seeking the last wildcard spot but have little room for error. They are six points out of the second spot entering Saturday night but have games in hand on the Jets and Kraken. 
Nashville beat Seattle by a 2-1 score in overtime on Thursday and was dealt an ugly 7-2 loss by the Kraken in Saturday's rematch. The Predators are 5-4-1 in their last 10 games. Roman Josie did not play on Thursday and Saturday due to an upper body injury and is questionable. The veteran defenseman is one of the best in the NHL and continues to log a ton of ice. Josie has recorded 59 points. Matt Yushen has been quiet, amassing just three goals on the month. The 32-year-old center posted an assist in the lone meeting against the Maple Leafs and has collected 56 points on the season. Tommy Novak is benefiting from an increase in playing time. The 25-year-old has three points in his last three games and 33 points on the year. Ryan Johansson is out. Our total pick is over. Vancouver Canucks vs Chicago Blackhawks Vancouver's been quite good offensively this season, scoring an average of 3.35 goals per game, the 11th most in the NHL, on an average of 30.2 shots per game. They've generated the 9th fewest expected goals per 60 minutes, 2.94, and the 12th fewest high danger shots in the league. The Canucks have scored on 22.4% of their power play opportunities. They're led in scoring by Elias Peterson, 91 points, Andre Kizmenko, 35 goals, and Quinn Hughes, 63 assists. The Blackhawks have been horrible on both ends of the ice this season. They've scored the fewest goals in the NHL, averaging only 2.45 goals per game on an average of 2.45 shots per game. They've generated the second fewest expected goals per 60 minutes, 2.59, and the tenth fewest high danger shots in the league. Chicago has the second worst power play in the NHL, scoring on just 16.2% of their chances. After trading away their two top scorers in Max Domi and Patrick Kane at the deadline, Taylor Radish leads the Blackhawks in scoring this season with 20 goals. The Canucks won the first game between these teams this season easily, winning 5-2. I expect another easy win for them tonight on the road and give them a huge edge offensively in this matchup. Vancouver has scored the 11th most goals in the NHL. The Blackhawks on the other hand are the lowest scoring team in the league this season, having generated the second fewest expected goals and the tenth fewest high danger shots in the league. Along with that, although the Canucks have allowed more goals, they've been much better at limiting scoring chances. They've given up the 15th most expected goals, while Chicago's given up the 7th most. Take the Canucks to win easily on the road. Chicago has been just as bad defensively, allowing an average of 3.56 goals per game, the 8th most goals in the NHL, on an average of 33.9 shots allowed per game. They've given up the 7th most expected goals per 60 minutes, 3.46, and the 4th most high danger shots. The Blackhawks have killed off 76.1% of their penalties. They're projected to start Petr Mrazak in goal tonight. The Canucks have been terrible defensively this season, allowing the sixth most goals in the NHL, an average of 3.68 goals per game, on an average of 30.7 shots allowed per game. They've given up the 15 most expected goals per 60 minutes, 3.15, and the 12th most high danger shots. Vancouver has the worst penalty kill in the NHL, killing off just 69.9% of their penalties. The first game between these teams this season hit the over with seven total goals. Both of these teams have trended over this year, with the over being extremely profitable in Canucks games, going 43-25-3, and the over has gone 35-32-4 in Blackhawks games this season. Both of these teams have been horrible defensively. Vancouver has allowed the 6th most goals in the NHL, having given up the 15 most expected goals and the 12th most high danger shots in the league. The Blackhawks have allowed the 8th most goals in the league, having given up the 7th most expected goals and the 4th most high danger shots. Additionally, the Canucks have been quite good offensively, scoring the 11th most goals in the NHL. Take the over 6.5 goals.